retinoblastoma retinoblastoma is a primary intraocular malignancy uh, it is mostly sporadic and it is uh, bilateral is more common than unilateral retinoblastoma is a tumor which is associated with tumor suppressor gene located on chromosome number 13 q 14 okay so most common age of presentation is 2 years of age 18 to 24 months so what is the pathogenesis of retinoblastoma it is due to malignant proliferation of immature neural crust cells so this is about pathology of R rb gene that is retinoblastoma tumor so coming to the presentation or clinical future it occurs in three stages one is intraocular stage extraocular stage and distant metastasis so we will go stage by stage intraocular stage it it has again two parts one is quiescent another is painful red eye quiescent stage in that patient presents with leukocoria leukocoria means uh, that is whitish pupillary reflex or big, uh, that is one point and because there is uh, defective vision there is uh, white pupillary reflex patient presents with strabismus that is nystagmus and because of tumor inside the eye it increases the pressure due to tumor it causes secondary glaucoma finally it causes bulging of the eye that is proptosis and ophthalmos and this is a tumor tumor associated with inflammation of the uvl tissue that is it causes pseudo uveitis and it may cause orbital cellulitis and complicated cataract finally when the tumor is progressive it even causes retinal detachment this is how the patient presents to us and the most common presentation is leukocoria this is about in quiescent stage you will be having all these some of the symptoms when there is a uh, tumor which is uh, spreading very progressively and it is involving the angle of anterior chamber and it is causing glaucoma then the patient even presents to you with a painful red eye this is about intraocular stage coming to the extraocular extension because of progressive tumor it may burst it may burst through the sclera at the region of the limbus or it may burst at the region of optic disc then the final stage is distant metastasis the most common site for metastasis is optic nerve and rarely it even metastasizes through the lymphatic root so this is about how the retinoblastoma pathology and its stages so when the patient presents to you the investigations that you do is examination under anesthesia you will do the fundus examination then you go for b scan usg to see for the tumor size tumor extension then you will go for ct scan to look for the calcification or any intraocular metastasis uh, extra cranial extraocular extension and intracranial metastasis mri also you will do and when you see for the aqueous tumor there will be increased lactate dehydrogenase and when you do the biopsy you will get three characteristic features that is flexner intestinal rosette homer right rosette and fluret in flexner intestinal rosette you will be having central lumen surrounded by tumor cells with tumor nuclei away from the center of the lumen okay so this is about the investigation that you will do then coming to the treatment aspect in the treatment you have chemotherapy chemotherapy you have the vec regimen vincristin etoposide and carboplatin vincristin 0.05 mg and etoposide 5 mg carboplatin 18.6 mg so vincristin you will give on the day 1 and carboplatin on the day 1 etoposide on day 1 and day 2 so 3 days in a week so 6 cycle you will give this is about uh, chemotherapy and tumors which are present anterior to the equator you will do the cryotherapy and tumors which are present posterior to the equator you will do laser photocoagulation then if the tumor is involving more than half of the retina then and if the tumor is involving the optic nerve if the tumor is involving the anterior chamber and causing glaucoma then you will go for enucleation if the tumor is involving optic nerve you will go for external beam radiation therapy then still if the tumor is so progressive and it is causing intraocular uh, involvement and extraocular extension and intracranial metastasis then you will go for palliative therapy so this is about retinoblastoma pathology and then its stages and investigation and treatment so